What's up, what's up? Damon Dash took to the internet today like he has been here lately. Now this ain't got nothing to do with his teeth falling out because guess what? Them teeth was well in the place and he had something to say and it was no playing games. He was very direct, straight to the point, telling us what type of personality he has and when it comes to the party scene and the one party that he did attend with Aaliyah and what he was not willing to go through with, witness have any fun with have any parts with because he said let him see the wrong thing he the type pause 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 might say some things in the end but that's an elite set of people where like he given a visual when he's saying that's an elite set of people that can keep a secret close to the vest not everybody can do that some people is going to go ahead and tell it and then you have some people that's on a state that's vulnerable and when i say vulnerable for real for real how old was justin bieber like really think about it i talk about how the mind operates in cycles meaning if you're 20 at this time you're not going to be the same person that you was from 20 to 27. okay you're not going to be the same person once you get out of your 20s you're not going to be the same person as time progresses on in some ways you're going to grow but some ways people do want to backpedal it all just depends on what you're into and then when money is involved that takes on a whole nother lifeline on will you be the embarrassment to yourself just to have the money will you be able to live with yourself will you be able to provide for your family not only your family but your family's family 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 you know all this talk at one time was about being a millionaire being a millionaire then it goes into graduating to being a billionaire and wanting to get into that club that club i know it don't come easy what are people keeping quiet how are people even keeping it together mentally to keep their minds going to even accept the foolishness the the, the demonic forces to keep quiet about like look i do this for you you do this for me sign contract verbal agreement Capiche, capiche, comprende ustedes. And we're going to keep it moving. Because some of that stuff I know had to have been so scary that you couldn't have told it. But some of this stuff that was, as Hollywood is coming down, it's going to be some more names that just may shock the pants off of some people. But it was already written the days was going to come like this. Whether who's around to see it, whether who's around to testify about it. When I think of Justin Bieber, my heart really aches for him. This is a child that came out into the music industry and his songs were happy, uplifting. You know, kids were interested in singing his lyrics. They were feel-good songs. His mother, I don't know. What his mama was thinking at the time when he was being managed by the manager that he had and that Justin Timberlake passed upon him. So then he had a chance to be represented by the legendary Usher. Okay. But something about that situation just irritates me real bad. Because, again, if it is being said... It was said actually by Suge Knight, and I'm sure it's by, probably been said by some others. But if it was said by Suge Knight, whoever introduced Diddy to the game and the way he do things when it comes to somebody party, party, partying with him, like really partying with him, who introduced Diddy to that and who introduced that person to that? So then it goes on and on. Okay, so... Usher was sent to live the lifestyle of a rock star with P. Diddy. Um, P. Diddy had guardianship of Usher. That means his mother, what's her name, Jonetta Patton, had to sign legal docs. Did she sign a legal docs? Okay. Well, that was under whose big idea? L.A. Reid, who's been under investigation of his own for some things didn't y'all remember when usher got that lifetime achievement award from bet la reed was on the stage along with babyface and usher's speech was bleeped out for the longest 
Of course, somebody did capture it and we were able to hear it for those who did tune in. But the thing was, I felt like that award show, it was a lot of, it was too estualized. It was too like gory to the point where it's like, why is this, why are these people up on each other? Why are we seeing more women sing Usher songs and you know, Usher, he was marketed to be a ladies man, but we're seeing all these women like having this masculine edge about them in his role, having this appeal about themselves. I didn't like it. Then when Usher got up there to make his speech, it seemed like you, you would have thought like the way L.A. Reid was putting his words, they weren't even flowing. Maybe he was being very careful because he met Usher at 11, 12, 13 years of age. So he was trying to choose his words very wisely with all of this, you know, surrounding Diddy going on. And at this point, Justin Timberlake, it's interesting how Justin Timber, um, Timberland's life has just spiraled out of control. Jaguar Wright has talked about his life. She's talked about Bashir Gray. These are different young men. Yeah, as they should be. But to the point where you saying, you on stage just crying, crying out, saying, I'm giving my life to God for Justin. That's what Justin was saying. He was saying how in this business, so many people come to manipulate, steal, and destroy you. They mean you no good. And then you're trying to get yourself together, but then it's another device being thrown at you. He did get in church, but guess what? That pastor was under scrutiny himself and the type of scrupulous things that he was doing within the church, but yet was trying to build the church off of Justin Bieber's name, which means you go from your Kmart wearing attire self to wearing designer Gucci'd out jackets that only Fred Astaire could purchase. Because you wanted this facade in your church because now that you're associated with Justin because you done had an opportunity, done went viral, baptizing Justin at wee hours in the morning. But yet this person was truly broken and needed help from the church, but instead was capitalized. So what does that mean? They said lines was just wrapped around the gates to get in. It wasn't the church that. Your great mama, great grandmother went to, your grandmother or your mom went to. It was the church of today that people were flocking to. Because, see, I do believe that there are a lot of empty souls out here. But I think because we know that we are operating in a world where there is good and bad, you know, good and evil, bad and evil, wrong, right. And you have to make a choice. I think for a long time, Dave and Dash was kind of looked at like, the scum of the earth because he wasn't rolling with what the Steve Stouts or the Andre Harrells of that time. And like the way things had went with him and Jay-Z and all of a sudden Jay-Z, he the man when all this time it was like the brains and how Jay-Z got the deal was because of Dame Dash. But things took a turn. What happened? People said, oh, he fell off. Well, maybe he fell off in the right direction. Not everybody wants to come under submission for what is just not self-preservation, self-respect, to be a yes person, to have to play the game and then go home at night to have to live with yourself or wake up the next morning to know you got to do it again. In other words, things that are agreed upon and how sometimes people get further in life. It's not always about integrity. It's not always about because you want it so bad. Not everybody has to get in and not everybody has to get it that way. Sometimes it may take a little bit longer. But what about just the basic necessities of life and maybe having a little something left over to enjoy these pleasurable things that God does want us to enjoy? In the right light, though, I ain't saying enjoy them in darkness, but there are certain things that have been put here on earth to be able to enjoy yourself with yourself, your family. Not to just go all out 
out here, you know, helping to destroy other people's lives just because you got the short end of the stick or to be a voice to speak up. But guess what? Even if some of these voices were speaking up at that time, who would have listened? They may have tried to have the people committed somewhere thinking that they're making it up just so that the money can continue to grow. Because it's like you get to messing up these higher up tiers, these CEOs, their money. Oh, it's going to be a problem. Oh, you talking too much. Now, Jaguar, God bless her, because that woman got a mouth that just won't stop. And she always got something to say. But just think if she would have stopped. Something Gene Deal is a bodyguard. He shouldn't be talking. His job should have just been, okay, you do your job. Let that be that. He said there's no way he could just be seeing stuff and just letting it slide. He had to say something. So what if it wasn't the Gene Deals, the Jaguars of the world? Would the world still be walking in silence as if it's normal? Would parents still be handing over their underage children? not knowing what could possibly really take place behind the scenes or what they could be offered as a sacrifice to have to do and be threatened. Don't you tell nobody or this could happen. So they stay silent, but, but you can see your child is study changing, becoming a different person because you're not able to be with them every step of the way. Then you got the rec exec telling you that this is the way it goes. Well, welcome to the world that we are now in, and it has been exposed. It wasn't the way that it should have went then, but it, some things have happened. It's definitely not the way it should go now. A lot of things have happened and came out. So how do you choose? Is your child really ready for destiny? Are you ready to be a star? Are you destined for this? What is a star in your mind? Have you gone through the checklist? Have you had a talk with Jesus? Have you prayed about this for things to be revealed? Are you willing to walk away? If something is asked of you, is, is your child trying, is your grandchild trying to know right from wrong, to know how to get out of situations safely? They say they out there, you know, pouring stuff. You don't even know what they pour. You don't you won't even be knowing what you're celebrating. They'll be celebrating. They'll be happy. They know what that, that took place. And not everybody that was a part of these games and recruiting was against it. Not everybody wants to speak out against it because some of these people was with it, with it, and could have been your own neighbor or could have been a good friend that you became good friends with. And they never told the truth on what was to become or did come. But what needs to come out, I pray that it keeps coming out. And God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is sufficient. And I pray for anyone who has been involved in a way that they think they can't get back up from this. They cannot recuperate from this. That they cannot have life after this. I pray for those. And we'll catch up on this a little bit later. But Dame Dash, you're going to be all right, just like you know you was always going to be anyhow. Keep speaking. Because it's funny how when things start to become full circle, that's why it don't even do you no good to throw nobody under the bus ever. Because you never know. This is why you can't be going around talking stuff, trying to do people wrong trying to block them from trying to even feed their own family, make it so hard that they got to jump through 50,000 hoops just to make $50 that day, just to make $100 that day, just to make two, $300 that day. Why you done raked in 50,000 that day? I mean, I don't know the numbers. I don't know what Jay-Z brings in, but in comparison to Damon Dash, I ain't saying it has to be that same equal amount, but he got some value in starting Rockefeller and however that went down. I don't know the legalities of this, but he's been speaking out long enough. So if it's if it's going to be done right, I hope he gets his justice and that they can move on.